the, the next section of the playthrough. I know this is the first video where I decided to uh, start the next video. Not exactly where I left off, like all the other videos. Except for part 5, because part 4 went missing, but that doesn't count. But this is the first video where um, I begin the video somewhere else. But all I did was rest at the bonfire, like... If you're watching the last video, then literally where you saw me left off, I walked straight to the bonfire. And that was it. I wonder how many people will chase me if I just walk over here. What the hell? Oh my fucking god, are you serious right now? Can I even aim up that high? Wow. Wow. I'm literally about to die from someone else. Are you being fucking serious right now? Game loves aggravating me, dude. Nice uh, combo. Where'd y'all come from? Wow. I don't know where all those assholes came from, but... God damn. Nice damage. Oh, now you've come to join the party, have you? And that's all it takes. That is all it takes. You know, I did want to say something real quick. I've seen people put their signs up there. Yeah, like that right there. How the fuck? I never figured out how to jump up there. I did try these things. And I remember getting pretty close. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> But that always just bugged me out. Well, that's new, Lens.
can't. Thank you, Pole. And that's all it takes, folks. Examine. Cling, cling, ding, ding, shming, ping, ping, ding, ding. That's what I find so aesthetic about Dark Souls 2. Just leads to this cave side. Not much to see around, but you hear the the crickets. It's, it's peaceful. I like it a lot, actually. I wish I could turn the camera at a, at a graceful speed, but um, you can only turn the camera at certain speeds. Yeah, look, it goes from fast like this to that slow. There is no in-between allowed. Fast. And then the next speed. Isn't that obnoxious? <laughs> I think it's obnoxious. Especially if it's for someone who's been rotating cameras with the right analog stick for, you know, fucking 20 years. I've experienced doing it, and, um... My thumb is very sensitive, I know exactly how I want to turn, but the game won't allow me to turn at the exact speed that I would wish to turn at. It's what has though! House. 925 rating? Oh, horse. Nothing in here. Hurrah for above and then something. You can actually hear something. Yep, there it is. I forgot what's down here, but whatever it is, I know I'm not going to use it, but this is a thorough playthrough, is it not? Yep, scimitar. Fuck, I had a Grand Lance plus 10. What the hell is that? That's some bullshit. What's with all these blood stains? What? 
Oh my god. Really? Really? They just run clean off. Oh my god, that is that is just crazy. What about over here? Huh. I guess they um the enemies up ahead, they must he must have lured them all the way back or some shit. Oh, you're still alive. Oh, damn, that thing moves fast. That thing's that arrow still. Fucking hit me! And you're still alive. With fucking one measly little health. My fucking I'm dead. What? That didn't hit him? Man, if your sword goes through a wall even a little bit little bit, the whole game's like, nope, fuck you. You know what? I'll make this easy on myself. Okay, I'm not gonna go that way. I don't need to. I'll go back around the other way when it's time. All right, Lost Pursuer, let's go. Come on. Chop, chop. 
No? You too afraid to face me, you fucking... Yeah, you better be afraid to face me. Such an interesting pile of rubble. dude instant oh my god usually he gets up and, and like does a leap that time he just like instantly did it super fast i've never seen it done that way before ever and of course you know he does while i'm recording new game plus seven coming to champions he does move i have never seen before of course like holy fuck man full health too oh my god so fucking annoying dude that could not be any more obnoxious. Holy shit, dude. So obnoxious. Oh my god! <sighs> Why? Are the Ultra Greatsword so fucking inflexible? It's like you made a fucking steel rod. Oh, no, oh, nice attack that I've never seen before. Never seen that one before. Never, ever. Never seen it once. Oh, he does it a second time, too. This guy's such a fucking piece of fucking shit, man. Just lost over 300,000 souls. All because the game wants to take a fucking shit on a, the flexibility of Ultra Great Swords. Because it's inconceivable to be able to swing your weapon more than fucking 15 degrees to the side. Just in inconceivable. Inconceivable. Fucking Christ. Fuck! Come on! I'm right here! No, you missed. You missed. Sorry. Try again. Try again. Try again. There you go. Wow, that didn't even hit me. That was in midair. You saw that arrow land on me in midair? Y'all saw that?
Well, he tried that shit again, too. He really did just try that shit again. Remember that door being locked. Well, I guess I gotta go. Hmm. You know, I normally don't go through the, um... I normally don't go through Lost Bastille this way. I usually come in from the back. I just don't ever remember that door being locked. I really don't. Yeah, see, if I go this way, I can't go back. Tell me a fragrant branch of y'all. Hello. Ah. The Oh, thank you. Yes, thank you. Game's really gonna pull that one on me, huh? I guess I could go that way, you know what I mean? But I'd rather go the normal way, I guess. Assuming that I didn't have a fragrant branch of law. Ah, here we are. Let's go, you cocksucker.
try this fucking little bullshit move. Eh uh ham. -huh. Not gonna happen. What is that fucking sound? It's probably just a glitched sound from the pursuer spawning in. Those arrows, man. No. Oh my god. They track you so well. Unlike Dark Souls 1 and 3. All you have to be doing is moving perpendicular to their vision. Or even just off the side a little bit. And they'll miss every shot. But in Dark Souls 2, ooh, they, they follow you like a fucking fly on shit, they fucking follow you. Alright, we are at 30 minutes. I'll try to, um... I want to end it somewhere at a decent spot, you know what I mean? I think that, um... That Pharaoh's Wall, I'm pretty sure it leads to the, um... That secret area. With the midget in the tower and whatever. I know the whole area and the enemies perfectly well, just I just don't know the names. Oh, but I was wrong though. Soul vessel. Alright, before I go there, because I know there's an elevator there, let's get this area first. Doggy, you got a lucky bite on me, didn't you? Yep. This leads to the same area. No need to fall down there, but it's nice that the availability is there. That is nice. I would get so claustrophobic if, if I was in this thing. I would definitely do a bonfire. Mm, bitch. 
bitch. Let me open up this gate. Because I remember one time, I... I know some of you are familiar with this game, but for those who are not... There's a door there, and I went through that door and fell down without ever opening the gate. Hashtag embarrassing. How many branches do I have? Two? I'll bite. Yeah, step aside, step aside. Alright guys, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.